hi everyone i am back with another video i just got off of work what i'm planning on doing today is i'm gonna test out my refrigerator and my deep freezer i'm gonna disconnect my solar panels from the circuit breaker right here so no power is gonna come in and then i'm gonna basically use my extension cord run it outside to the house as you can tell right now it's super dark so i'm gonna see how that works out see how long that runs i'm gonna run these batteries dead they're eco worthy 150 amp hour life pole batteries they're bluetooth so i can monitor them and they are ran in parallel so they're basically 300 amp hours so i'm gonna see how long it could kill the battery basically see if it's like worthy enough to stand for like a day or two i mean it's a full-size residential fridge and a deep freezer so it's going to take a lot more power than uh than this little fridge right here or freezer and my mini fridge so yeah we'll see how that works out and we'll go from there all right so i'm inside the house i'm going to plug in this deep freezer right here And then now I'm going to plug in the refrigerator. They're both running off of the system. This is the five cubic feet, I believe. And this is the refrigerator I'm running. I got it connected like this. Here goes the extension cord. I guess it was too short, so I had to put another 15 footer. So this is a 115 foot cord, I believe. All right, so I just got back to the RV. Everything was just plugged in. Weird, it's showing two watts. Okay, I'm gonna go into the battery monitoring system and check that out. All right, so my fridge is on. It's on energy saver mode. But what I'm really confused about is why is it only taking out two watts? That's what I'm really confused about. Lights are on everything plug is still plugged in right here my freezer still plugged in yeah see my deep freezer's on I'm, I'm really confused what's going on right now so definitely confused so this is the battery monitoring system this is for the first battery not sure which one but now it's showing that it's discharging at 40 watts this is pulling out 70 watts now, and I'm running my deep freezer and my residential fridge. I'm gonna go to the other battery. This is discharging at the same rate. It says I have between 50 hours to 52 hours of runtime. So dang, I mean, I guess it's pulling out about the same same wattage as my little mini fridge and my my freezer in here all right so it's around like 7 15 ish i've been sitting here watching it for a little bit going back and forth so it been bouncing around from 222 to between like 170 watts so i think this is when like the compressor kicks in either on the fridge or the freezer one of them Okay, so right now it's 917, 97 watts discharging. There is 131 amp hours left. Battery life is 88%. 178 watts being drawn. So battery life still showing 13.0. Thirteen point two, thirteen point one. This is still off. There's gonna be no power coming in. All right, so I was just at the fridge. I seen that it was showing zero. The fridge light's still on. The freezer light's still on. Everything's still running. I don't know if everything just shut down completely and just is running off whatever it is. But I mean, oh, there you go. Bounced up a little bit. That was actually kind of weird, but. Yeah, it went from 180 to zero. 
And I went in the house to check it out and it was still going. All right, I'm back in the RV, it's 11.15. The battery life is at 80%. It's drawing 6.7 amps out, the, out of this battery. Well, out of one of them, it's drawing another 6.7 out the other. We are currently sitting at 172 watts coming out the inverter. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna check it out. I'm gonna get ready, go to bed. All right, so it is early in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm gonna check the battery level. The solar system in this RV. So right now, showing 13 volts, no power going in, the breaker is still off, so all day today, there ain't going to be no sun coming in. So nothing's going to be charging, I'm going to be headed off to work, I won't be back until about maybe 6 o'clock tonight, so we will see what is going on. It's taking out 30, 32 watts. 18 watts so i seen this thing drop all the way down to zero two watts going all the way up to like 220 watts all right 6 54 in the morning the battery's at 51 percent right now it's discharging at 73 watts the power inverter is running at 136 watts this is battery number one showing i got about 13 hours so hopefully by the time I get off work around six o'clock, it should be dead by then, hopefully. Well, I don't know yet, but we'll find out. <clears throat> this is the data on it. It's drawing out almost six watts, five and a half watts, or five and a half amp hours. So yeah, let's check out the other battery. The other battery is doing the same. It's looking good. All right, so I'll be back around six o'clock and make another video and go from there. Okay, I just got home from work. It's about seven o'clock. I thought I was gonna be home at six, but that didn't work out. 12.70 watts. No solars coming in, no nothing. So I'm gonna uh, jump in the system and check it out. See what the numbers are now. Okay, so I just got into the battery monitoring system. Here goes the first battery. It's showing 12%, 17 amp hours left. And I'm not sure why it's on standby, but this is showing zero watts. I was just at the fridge and freezer. They're both still on, still up and running. Here goes the data. Let me go to the other battery. This one's at 11% for some reason. 16 amp hours. Discharging at 110 watts. Let me go back to the other one one second. Okay, so they both are discharging at the same rate. This one just has one amp hour more than the other battery. Definitely don't know why, but that's the test though. It ran my fridge and my residential fridge and my deep freezer for about 25 hours now. So I believe it could actually run it 
maybe another three hours, four hours or so. So I'm actually pretty happy with the results. I'm happy that it worked out like that. 24 hours, that's pretty good for 300 amp hour battery. So yeah, that's the end of my test. I think I'm gonna be doing another video soon. I'm working on trying to get another battery to have three of these. And then I'm working on getting a solar panel for my vehicle because I have a 200 watt on my vehicle that's supposed to be up here on this roof with this system because in total it was a 400 watt system that I bought. I mean an 800 watt system that I bought. I put three panels up here and I put one on my vehicle. So I'm going to buy a solar panel for my vehicle, maybe a 300 watt, put that on top of my car. And then I'm going to put the other 200 up here and I'm going to run it. I'm going to change all of the panels and run it into series because right now it's in parallel. I think I'm going to run two in parallel and then run it in series right after. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Or run it in series, then run it in parallel. Vice versa, whatever it is. But yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it.